we used to transmit information by a genogram or a family map that would capture medical themes that ran through families, sometimes some of the social or dynamic themes. But frankly, it was hard to transmit that information in a brief way to another teammate. And they would look at that chart or picture of the family in a structured way, but not be able to act on it. So over the years, I've been curious about how we might be more helpful and concrete about what are the social dimensions of someone's life or their context that would help us better understand how to help them. And it turns out others have been interested in this for quite a while. So years ago, we invited people from the Netherlands to come over and talk to us about how they understood this. They were more of a hospital-based system and helped us learn their system and gave us permission to adapt it to the rapidly moving ambulatory environment prominent in the United States. And in that process, we created an instrument that we now call the Patient-Centered Assessment Method, or PCAM. People have asked, how would this change the practice of medicine? Well, I think it would help us by more concisely understanding the patient's context. Where do they live? What barriers do they have to following through on our care? And in that way, we could help them more efficiently and effectively either become well or stay well. Uh, we've broken these uh, social dimensions of health into categories. Some of them have to do with their general physical needs and how that is going. Um, do they have lifestyle issues that we could address? That's very commonly understood already. About what is their social environment and their home environment? Is it safe? Do they have a lot of mobility? Are they moving frequently? That interrupts health and their daily activities could be affected by that. It might not be safe to walk around the neighborhood, whereas other people do that without even thinking about it. And what about health literacy? When I mention terms relating to health, does it make any sense to them at all? It could be just exactly like speaking a foreign language. So if we engage them in a way so we can make sure they understand us and we understand them, that would be a dimension of healthcare that isn't a diagnosis. It's a social dimension of health we want to assess. And then what other services might they need? And again, it could range from housing to literacy training or education. Uh, it could be exercise training, as simple as that. We recommend that frequently and refer them to the YMCA, or to a physical therapist, but what about just a neighborhood group that's walking around the neighborhood? Uh, what about uh, interesting groups that might acquire new information for us, such as they could have a reading group and, and that would get them out into the community and engage people and not be isolated. One of the things about creating a tool for use of assessing people in these social dimensions of health is creating a systematic language. If we agree upon terms and understand what they mean across our own teams as well as in the patient's community, we can be more precise in understanding what they're up against. So if there's a geographic area that has housing problems or food problems or education problems or opportunities for employment, when we assess an individual and reach into that community to help that individual, it leads us rather quickly to understand there's more than one person facing that problem. That person may or may not be part of our own clientele or our own patients, but if we reach into that community, we would want to address something that's more than one person focused. So it could be helping with safety, again, for that community. It could be helping with housing, making it safer. It could be a lot of things that are likely to be community-based and community reach, not just individually focused. And if we have a more precise and consistent language around what the issues are, we can explain it and understand it better with a more broad reach approach as well as helping the individual whom we assess. In that way, a systematic language acquisition that we're getting with the tool and understanding of people's circumstances can help more than the few that we actually touch. It can help many others as well.